This is He Knows Everything bringing you that heat and that fire. We keeping the foot on the what on the Knicks. We keeping the foot on the what on the Knicks. Let's talk about it. Go ahead, He Knows. I want you guys to see the coach in the background. You see, there's this commonality. There's this common denominator that you're finding with guys that people are not even paying attention to. Coaches that people are not even paying attention to. People that people are not even paying attention to. They're the ones telling you exactly how this fight is going to go down. They're telling you how this is going to play out. They're telling you how Earl the True Spence is going to tactically aggress Terrence Buck Crawford. They're telling you how Earl the True Spence is going to technically punch and place Terrence Buck Crawford. They're telling you how Earl the True Spence is going to body snatch and work the levying onslaught of the punishment style Terrence Crawford. They're explaining to you the conglomeration of punishment. They're explaining to you the stimulus package of punishment. They're explaining to you punishment nevertheless. But people want to go to the mainstream guys, you know, the guys that do the 50-50, the guys that want to be part of this, you know, Masonic Brotherhood. Yes, there's a Masonic Brotherhood in boxing and people don't even see that. It goes over a lot of Rudy Poo and Plum Plum Brains heads. It goes over a lot of classic Dota and Troglodyte heads. It goes a lot of over a bunch of ultra fanboys with the ultra fanboy rhetoric heads. Because boxing has a lot of red tape mask behind it. It's a dark sport. There's a lot of things behind the scenes that's happening that people don't even understand. People can't even comprehend and people can't even get. If we're really being honest with ourselves, if we're calling a spade a spade and we're really looking at everything to the nicks, the cranny, the crooks and everything that's associated behind it. When it's all said and done, this coach said. What I've been saying for years. Terrence Buck Crawford in his hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Hit me, I'm going to hit you back style. Well, he's we're going to explain what this coach is basically talking about. He said he's been in both camps. He's been in Earl the True Spencer's camp. He's been in Terrence Buck Crawford's camp. But one thing that he sees is Terrence Buck Crawford is tailor made to be punished by Earl the True Spence. Let me say it again. No, no. Let coach say that again. So here coach and here coach. Motherfucking wow. Because what he said was so deep and profound. He said that Terrence Buck Crawford's recklessness in always wanting exchanges. I.e. he knows everything's variation of hit me. I'm going to hit you back. 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 It's tailor made to be bull fucking dozed. It's tailor made to be steam fucking road plowed through and through line upon line of punishment, precept upon precept of punishment, but punishment nevertheless, because Earl the True Spence is going to tax, charge, steamroll, dominate, obliterate, devastate, brutalize, and punish Terrence Buck Crawford. Because Terrence Buck Crawford is a familiarity breeds complacency. And the familiarity that breeds complacency with him is hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Hit me, I'm going to hit you back. See, when he gets hit, he always has to go to hit me, I'm going to hit you back. Go ahead, he knows. So Earl the True Spence is going to punish him for that. He's going to capitalize off of that. He's going to take advantages off of that. And this is what the coach has revealed. That this is why this fight... It's not going to go to distance. And this is why Earl the True Spence and Derrick James's style continuously over and over and over again, their style shines bright. It shines a light. Their style progresses. Their style always finds a way to get where it needs to go. The reason being for that is because their style is a complete package style. It's a style of technique. It's a style of fundamentals. It's a style that basically goes by boxing one on one, the basics. And you got to remember, Earl the True Smith is a culture's dream. Don't you notice all of the cultures that are really in the nooks and the cranny of boxing? They appreciate Earl the True Smith's style because they appreciate the fact that finally we got a boxer, even more so than Floyd Mayweather. And he's an error field fighter, even more so than Andre Ward. And he is an error field fighter. Sometimes they go off and do their own thing. 
but they're air field fighters nevertheless but Earl the True Spence's speciality or speciality in his air field fighter is he's a culture's dream fighter he follows the game plan all the way to the T he doesn't deviate everything he does in training camp is reciprocated in the boxing ring let me say it again everything he does in training camp is reciprocated in the boxing ring this is what this coach is alluding to this is what this coach is speaking to so when we look at the delineation the distinction the golf and the separation we look at the fine line the combing the division between these two guys what you're finding out is people that are really in the nooks and the cranny people that are in the crevices people that are really in depth people that are about the pugilistic lifestyle about pugilism they know without a shadow of a doubt that Earl the True Spence is going to tactically aggress technically punching place and body snatching work the levying onslaught of the punishment style Terrence Bud Crawford and if you don't know that that's the cold hearted and if you don't know that that's the unadulterated and if you don't know that that's the cutthroat truth teller fashion then I can't help you when it's all said and done I keeps the foot on the what on the knees I keeps the foot on the what on the knees this is he knows everything check it out